All right, in this video, we are gonna go over an A plus welcome email one design versus a couple that are graded Fs. And I'm gonna go over why exactly this is a winner and why exactly the ones I'm gonna show you are losers. So <clears throat> right off the bat, we're just gonna go straight into the winner. So this is an A plus welcome email design for Alpen Rock for a couple of reasons. The first thing is when you are delivering the welcome discount after somebody signs up on a pop-up, you wanna give them the offer in as little friction as possible. Give them what they came for. They're likely just there to get the discount and to get out. And so what you wanna do, you can see at the beginning, so right when you open the email, so when you open an email, you're only gonna see this part. A lot of brands will have the discount and the shop now button way down here. You wanna put it right in the person's face. So always just within this, you wanna have the discount and then the first button. So you can see here, perfect. Logo, um, here's the offer, here's your code. Go ahead and shop. Perfect, absolutely killer, and that's over top of an image that represents the brand. Absolutely perfect, this is a minimal brand. Um, you can see that's what got carried in this design, just minimal, 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 because that's the brand, and usually that's what performs the best. And you can see right here, we have a reverse triangle, so that's huge, and that's something that we will talk about a lot in email designs, having this reverse triangle. Your eyes funnel from here all the way to here, and that leads to a single call to action. It's a triangle. Your eyes are easily guided straight into this button. Perfect. That's absolutely killer. And then, and then now you can get into what makes you different as a brand. Have a nice, quick, bold headline, something that describes your brand. So discover conscious luxury. So this brand is all about having um, products that are high quality and that in high quality and they're conscious of the environment so that you can use them for forever and the products are made out of good material so that um, they're not wasteful. And so just like this, you are certified B Corp. We hold high standards. Uh, we donate up to 10% of profits um, and we donate. So like this is just instant, just like social proof and just like, okay, I can get behind this brand. And then you want to deliver the discount again. So if somebody right off the bat, they wanted to learn a little bit more about the brand, then boom, learn a little bit about the brand. And then here's another reminder to shop now. Perfect. Now we want to get to something you can do is add another section, just something about maybe a little bit more about you, um, how it is specific product or how we give back something like that um, right here. But excuse me, at the end of the email, then you want to show some bestsellers, show off your products. That's what people are here for. They're here to buy your stuff. So show them some of your products. And so we show some of them here, some of the bestsellers. Somebody can just click if they see some something they like, but more often than not, they're just there to browse. Now they're in the mood to browse. They've, they've looked at products. They're like, okay, okay, these are kind of cool. Let me keep browsing. So boom, you have two buttons for them to click right here. I would likely add a button down here just to be like, keep browsing. But this is part of the footer. You can shop by woman or man. Um, and that's perfect. Somebody gets browsing and then boom. This is literally all you need for welcome email. Super simple. Notice how there's not a lot going on. It's just, here's the discount with a header, a little bit about us best-selling products. That's all you need for welcome email one. Um, Cause at that point, the person just entered their email to buy. They just want, they just want the simple stuff. Boom. If you try to give somebody so much information, they're not going to read any of it anyways. Like 90% of people won't even read this. So you don't need a lot of words. So this is perfect. Um, and then of course you have social proof and whatnot in the footer. So that's perfect. That's an awesome welcome email. So now let's go into some Fs. Um, so we'll start with this. So kind of what we mentioned before, welcome, where's the discount? Like, and where can I even, there's no way for me to purchase on this email. That's no bueno because somebody will see this and be like, oh, okay, cool. Then exit out. No purchase. You need to at least have a button. You need to have a button and you want to be able to like, this is good. You just need a button right here and deliver the offer. Um, like this is fine. Um, this is okay. But again, it's just like really clunky, really boxy. It doesn't really flow. And then follow us on Instagram with it just, that's not effective in the first welcome email because people are there to buy. Um, so that's really unnecessary. Um, and just getting people, you're doing so too many different things. And then you go into these people, like it's just not necessary. You're not going to get any purchases. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but you're not going to get any purchases. And for welcome email, that's people are here to buy. No bueno. Then let's go to this one. A couple reasons why this one is not good. Um, I like how simple it is, but a couple things. First, 
we never want to put these up at the top because actually if you give somebody so many options, they're not going to click any. You just want to funnel somebody into one decision. Like with this email, the only decision is to buy. There's, it's not anything else besides buy. Go to our site and buy. But yeah, so that's huge there. Um, these never work. Just these headers, they're kind of clunky, confusing, rather than it's hard to read. Welcome to our email list. Whereas with this, it's just like, welcome. Okay, cool. Um, then also, it's hard to find the discount. People don't want to read through your shit. They don't want to have to search to find the discount. This should be so clear that your code is pack 10 Go buy. That needs to be clear. Um, this just looks awkward. It's basic. We're so happy that you're here. And it's just, this copy is unnecessary. By joining your email list, you get VIP access to tips, notifications on sales, new product announcements, special discounts. That's implied when you join an email list. You don't need to tell somebody this. Um, when somebody joins their email list, notice how in this email, it's not saying like, you just joined an awesome community. You're about to get uh, discounts. You're about to get exclusive access. People already understand that when they're signing up for an email list. That's wasted space. So instead of wasting space on welcome to the email list, you're getting exclusive access. You just go straight into what makes your brand different. That's key. Um, so this is all unnecessary, and this button isn't big enough. It's not creative. It's the same color as the text, so it kind of blends in. So that's no bueno. Um, and it should be a lot bigger. So that's another F. Now here's another one. This is probably a C minus, maybe a D. Um, but yeah, again, we don't want to have these. You want to put your logo in the middle, just having things side by side. People just want to look vertically because most of the time they're on their phone and it's just vertical. Unnecessary. This is just blocking a lot of the real things that matter in the email, just having a big picture. You can have a big picture, but just make sure that your real message is at the top because nobody wants to scroll. Welcome to wellness. That's a really lame headline. Everything is just basic. Everything's super basic. I like this reverse triangle. Notice how it funnels into one shop now button. That's why this gets an extra bonus. And it's clear what the offer is and where the discount is. It's just way too low. This is way too low in the email. This needs to be way up here. And it's just really basic and plain. Um, but principle there, it's okay. Um, this is pretty cool. Just like who we are. This, can, this is solid. Um, you probably want to add an extra. And then they show some of their products and then the shop now button. So that's pretty... That's... That's okay. It's just there's some minor things here that need to really be optimized. Um, this button should be a lot bigger. It should be a lot bigger. Like look at these. These buttons are very big. It's very easy to click, and you won't miss them. Um, so, yeah, that's exactly. So this is probably like a C, just be, C minus, just because it's really lame. It's a really lame email. It has these. The discount's too low. Um, and these really aren't doing anything like yeah they're cool to have but are they really doing anything is somebody really going to read these they're hard to read no but this is good and then the final shop now button is good so boom there was a brief guide just to the welcome email um to give you a sense of what we're looking in that first welcome email which is so important so um yeah